Hi, I'm Brad Dillon. Welcome to the Dennis Dillon RV and Marine Show. Our weekly program focuses on RVs and boats in all shapes and sizes. Whether it's a family boat, competition ski or surf boat, tent trailer, travel trailer, toy hauler, fifth wheel, class C motorhome, class A motorhome, or a diesel pusher, we have everything there is to offer at Dennis Dillon RV and Marine. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Dennis Lauer from Dennis Dillon RV and Marine Sales. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about our Forest River Work and Play Series RVs. These are both sport and work friendly. You're going to have 5,000 pound axles underneath this to carry anything you're going to want. Snowmobiles, motorcycles, SUVs, UTVs, and on the work side, if you're a contractor, plenty of room to carry any of your tools or equipment. These are not just set up for everyday uh, toy hauler activities. These are also for the family, tailgating, things of, that can be lots of fun outside. You've got your 32 inch TV right behind an easy flip up station here. You can watch your sports, BSU games, football games, any of the, any sports activities sure make this trailer a lot of fun. It also has outside stereo speakers. The next piece is gonna be the awning all electric you can take in one button push it out easy for any anybody to do unlike the older style that are manual lots of nice lighting underneath the awning will go out eight feet underneath the awning makes for great shade picnic tables anything you're going to want to do to get out of the sun in the heat of the desert as you're out there riding your motorcycles or suvs we have a fuel station so as you're as you're low on gas, you can see here, it has all fuel pump and a gauge to let you know how full your, your fuel tank is so you're not packing the gas cans inside. All electric stabilization on this, one button stabilizes the back of this so you can push it down and not have that wobble that people get inside the trailer. Around the back we have easy loading lights. The door is aluminum reinforced studs so you can drive anything up to a car into the back of this. In the back here, it's a nice small screen shade. So as you're in here and, and you want to get the, the, any exhaust or fumes out of it, makes for great ventilation that comes through the back side of this. Really nice for socializing and, and entertaining. We have removable beds that pull down and to get them out of the way, you can just fold them up into the wall and they'll stay. For the larger bed in the back, they both mate together to make for one large bed in the back. Plenty of room for you and the missus. We also make it very easy for people to flip them back into the couches. And as you per turn them into couches here, you have plenty of room to walk through and still good seating for that TV we showed you on the outside. Easily swivels back around for inside entertainment. They have insulated blinds on all of the windows so you can stay nice and warm as you're sleeping for a very comfortable night. Good lighting throughout, lots of lights. A lot of people don't realize it because they're buying them in the day, but good lighting is important at night. We have very high quality cabinets. They're all solid wood panels. Everything in here is screwed together, not used by staples. Conveniences just like you'd have at home with a separate freezer and refrigerator. Lots of room for sodas, whatever you might like. We have a one touch microwave. Great for the fast meals and also a cooktop. Even the kitchen sink is in this. Nothing would be perfect without a place to sit and eat. We have an inside outside removable table. This sits nicely between those dinettes in the back or you can take it outside. Like my wife likes to cook outside most of the time as we go camping when it's nice. One of the great features about having a V-nose front on a work and play trailer is the enormous counter space. Lots of room for everything you're going to need. It also makes for a very large wardrobe area so you can hang all of your play gear out there and also very good shelves, putting any towels and extra things you might need. Porcelain toilet, very sturdy, makes for easy cleaning. 
clamshell shower to make for easy use and no swinging door to take up extra room. And now we're gonna take a look at Work and Play's bestseller, the 18-footer. Now we're coming into the best-selling Work and Play model, the 18. Easy to tow with SUVs that you don't have to have a large truck in order to get this one down the road. Still enough room for a whole family's worth of toys, from four-wheelers to motorcycles. Lots of height, so you can get even a uh, UTV into here. Full kitchen, just like in the larger versions. You have a gas electric hot water heater so that you can use both electricity and propane to heat your water. Full stereo, still a good couch for entertaining. The best part is when you're done and it's time to go to bed, the couch easily folds up, gets put out of the way, and down comes the bed built for two. It's as easy as one, two, three. In this, we also have air vents, so you can take, as you're driving, it'll pull the air in over your machines to get rid of any smell, and there's an exit vent then back there in the back. So it keeps this free from any gasoline smells or the type of smell where you think you're gonna be living in a garage. You also have a one inch floor with D-rings that support the tie downs in order to keep your cargo in here from moving around under transportation. And for our most precious cargo, friends and family that love to go camping, fishing, and going ride four wheelers. Don't you love camping, Kensington? Yes. I'm Dennis Lauer at Dennis Dillon RV and Marine Centers. Hi, my name is Joe Sibby and I'm a sales representative with Dennis Dillon RV and Marine in Boise, Idaho, and my job is to sell fun. Now, the first way we can start having fun today is right here, the Salem Cruise Light T195BH Bunkhouse by Forest River. You have an easy step to gain access into the particular vehicle. We have 14-inch tires with easy lube, hubs. We have a six-gallon water heater and a manual awning which is put up very easily by two people. Another feature is the fresh water connection and the city water connection, which are conveniently located in the rear. Right here, we have the dump valves, which are color-coded gray and black. This is your electrical hookup. And more storage space up underneath here. One nice feature about the Salem Cruise Light, again, is the weight, and it is a manual jack. But just look how easy it is to crank up and crank back down. Two more features on the exterior are the rain gutters and the powder coated diamond plate up front for rock chips. Next, what I'd like for us to do is to take a look inside. On the interior, folks, we have some storage up above the bed on each side. Easy access lighting. We have a 110 for reading lamps or whatever you may need. We have a 50 by 74 queen. Then the dining area, which is a nice booth. Now this actually makes into a bed also. Um, you can see here that there's little ledges and this tabletop would fit down. And then that also makes into a bed. Here, we have a Dometic refrigerator. We have spaces here for Whatever, ketchup, mustard, plenty of room for vegetables, and then we have a small little freezer up on top for your meat. Over here we have another 110, and we have your water heater on and reset button, and then here are your black gray tanks, and when you turn that on they'll just light up to give you indication exactly how full or how empty they actually are. We have an Advent microwave with a nice plate. 
nice high rise sink, hot and cold water, a two burner stove, got plenty of storage up underneath the sink, a full slide out drawer, and up on top, even more storage. And once again, plenty of storage. You got a cabinet here and another cabinet there. Got an easy access, open air vent. Up over here, you have two bunk beds. Uh, so in total, I think we could sleep two, three, four, five, very comfortably in here. And once again, easy access lights. And in the bathroom, you've got a foot flush and a nice size shower with a skylight and another easy access open air bed. Another nice feature about the Cruise Light is they do have a high-end Jensen AM FM CD player, which is a really, really nice feature There's for your headphones and an auxiliary, and also a very easy accessible panel uh, for the air conditioning and the heating. And in conjunction with that Jensen, you also have inside speakers, and then you have a carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. And once again, the easy turn off and on lights. My name is Joe Sippy, and I'm a sales rep at Dennis Dillon RV and Marine. And when you're ready to start making memories, come and see me. Hi, I'm Clay with Dennis Dillon RV. Today I have the distinct privilege of showing you Brookstone by Coachman. I'll start with this one piece fiberglass front cap, all painted, beautiful and durable. We're gonna come across, this is all these slides are a Schweitek brand slide. They're very well built, they're very strong, and they're very light. Moving towards the rear, uh, twin seven and a half gallon tanks uh, with an auto crossover. i show you the storage compartment under here. It is huge and very well finished. And there is the Dirt Devil Central Vac. So we'll close that up. I'd like to take a second to tell you about this Joe Coat wall. This is a high-end wall, like a boat hole. It is very closed cord. It is very shiny and easy to deal with, and it will be for years to come. Traveler pitch hardware on this full power awning. Big axles, fancy wheels. And if you'll look to the windows on the side of this, everywhere when the slides are in is a flat face window. That is as high a quality a window as you can get, and they're very, very pretty. This coach boasts large hot water heater, 20 gallon per hour effective capacity, big furnaces, full 50 amp service throughout, and everything that you need in a Snowbird coat. Let's go inside and take a look. And coming to the inside, uh, take a look. This is a front living floor plan. Big LED TV, 5100 BTU electric fireplace, which really takes the cold off on those nippy mornings. Notice to the right of the fireplace, it's all wired and plumbed for a gen set. Look at the beautiful cabinetry. This is all solid wood cabinetry. Opposing slides, one on each side, and both of these couches make into beds. Two air conditioners on this, one up here, one in the back area. Really lit up like a Christmas tree. There's lights everywhere in this thing, which on those dreary days, that makes a big difference. Uh, rounded ceilings give you an illusion of space. And coming to the marvelously appointed kitchen area, solid surface countertops, stainless steel deep sinks, Moen style extended faucets, and a very nice appliance garage back here for your toasters and blenders and all those kind of things. A uh, large 30-inch residential-style microwave, a 12-cubic-foot Norcold refrigerator-freezer, central vacuum with toe kick, so sweep it all up, kick it into that hole right there, and away you go. Has the residential-style dinette, also has two extra folding matching chairs, which you can store away. One thing I really want to show you, which is neat, is these day-night shades. You see this in luxury motorhomes. There is your privacy, there is your room darkening. They are amazing and they last. More cabinetry, more lights, coat closet, and even a step stool for those high cabinets. They thought of everything. Coming on down the hallway, you see more armoires, storage, storage everywhere. 
and these things really close nice. European style hinges, and it is plumbed and wired for a washer dryer. Gorgeous heavy gauge vinyl flooring throughout, vinyl where you want it, and carpet where you want it as well. Uh, coming into the lavatory, it has a very generous size, a neo angle shower with a large sink and very generous medicine cabinet. A china lavatory, and of course, it has a separate entrance to the outside, which is a beautiful thing. This is the master bedroom. Well lit, full king size bed, reading lights, nightstand, over the bed, storage, beautiful windows throughout. Once again, day night shades throughout the entire coach. Generous armoires, lots of drawers, another TV, and of course, all of these are ball bearing roller glides. So, this is Brookstone by Coachman. Uh, I'm Clay at Dennis Dillon RV. Uh, for more information on this coach or any other one that we have, feel free to come see us. We're always available for you. Hi, I'm Jim Reisner. I'm going to show you some of the open range fifth wheels. We're going to start with the light series. This is the half ton series. Uh, you can Tow these with a short box, half ton, five and a half foot box. This adapter here will come out. You can actually convert it to a gooseneck style. The suspension is an electric suspension. They have the strong arm stabilizers. The benefit to those is when you're walking around inside, it takes more of the movement out of it. Once you get parked, lock it down, it stabilizes it. Every one of these light series has this right on it. Of course, it shows you that it's 90 degree turning with a short box pickup. They're all two inch aluminum frame laminate walls, electric awnings in all the open range series. This one has the frameless windows. You don't see any framing. The slides are an electric cable slide. You can see the stainless steel aircraft grade cables with no maintenance. Let's go inside, look at some of the features inside. Inside this 315 bunkhouse model, you have a large kitchen, you have hard surface counter space, spice racks for all your canned goods, spices. You have pot and pan drawers for all those bigger utensils you may take camping. Lots of storage. You have a nice refrigerator here, two door, large capacity, ample room for all the things you're gonna bring along camping so you don't run out. Storage everywhere in this thing. It's a big room, you have a 42 inch slide. This big couch area, there are two tables that you can set up here. They're tucked away in the drawers on the end, so you can either leave it open as couch area, you can set it up as an eating area if you need to be inside. This floor plan here is designed more for a family with children. As you can see, it has a nice bunkhouse area. There is a wet bath in the back. There's also an exit door out the back, so if someone needs to come in and use the restroom, the children, they don't have to traipse through the whole kitchen area. One of the nice things about open range is that you can see the TV from anywhere in the living area. Most all the models are set up that way. The number on the door outside the 315 designates the square footage of living. This has 315 square foot of usable living space. As you can see up in the bedroom, the closet slides out to give you the closet space that a lot of the gals like. It also has two doors into the bathroom. So if someone needs to use this other bathroom while someone's sleeping, you have access without interfering with someone sleeping. In the bathroom area, you have lots of storage here. You have two different areas for storage. It has a nice corner shower that most people like. With the skylight above it for the taller people, plus it lets light in without turning light on. You have the fantastic fan here that's operated from the side wall there to draw a lot of air out or in. In all the open range series, you'll see a single door with the screen built into it. You just have the single, no screen door. All the open ranges are four seasons. They're all R38 roof, R38 floor, and that floor insulation is below the tanks, water lines, valves, with the four inch duct in there, so they're very, very well insulated. If you were going to North Dakota for some reason, the cold weather open range would be the ones to take. They're very well insulated. Now let's walk over and look at the residential series. This model here is called a residential. It's designed more for longer term use, going south for the winter or whatever you may want to do, maybe even full time. This one comes with the optional trail air hitch. It gives cushion to the ride, makes, makes it pull nicer when you're going down the road. This particular one has the optional full body paint. This is not 
decals any of this. This is all full body paint. Coming on around over here, this model has the automatic four point leveling system. One button levels the whole coach up. Right beside that, you can also see there's a thousand watt inverter to run your refrigerator. It's when you're not plugged in, you still have power. Stepping over here, you can see that all your connections, your satellite, your water, your black and gray tank valves are all inside. Insulated door, rubber seal, out of the elements. So when you're traveling, if you get into some nasty weather, your stuff's all protected here. This one also has the telescoping sewer drain hose holder that comes out around, you connect up, it keeps your hose up for a certain distance. 50 amp power cord for all of these. As I said before, all the open ranges have the cable slide system with the cables that run them out. These are about 300 pounds per slide lighter than hydraulic slides. This one also has the optional slide toppers to protect the top of your slide. On this one, you have the full fiberglass rear cap. You have LED taillights. This ladder is removable. If you want to take it off, to get a better view out your rear windows. Again, frameless windows, full body paint, slide toppers. You can see how deep this slide is. It gives you a lot of room inside. This model here is a 417 RSS, which means it has 417 square feet of living space inside. Again, all automatic leveling system, all seasons protection. All the open ranges have the full four seasons protection with the R38 floor and roof protecting all your lines, tanks. There's also a four inch duct into the underbelly that goes back into the returns area into the furnace. So as long as your furnace is on, you're protected. If you want to go to North Dakota into the sub-zero temperatures, again, open range would be the way to go, whether it was a bunkhouse model or a residential model. Walking into the residential, you'll see it has a lot more features. You have a full control center here.